This is our third lecture for Unit 1 for Astronomy, and in this one we're going to talk a little bit about measuring distances in astronomy and what kind of units we use. Because it turns out that, as we said in class, the distances in space are big, really, really big. And our normal units of measurement just don't seem to cut it. Uh, obviously, this is science class, we use metric. So if you think about, okay, well, what about, say, the solar system? And just to go as far out as we think we might want to, let's go all the way to Pluto. Let's count Pluto. From the sun to Pluto, it's 6 billion kilometers, which is 6 times 10 to the 12th meters. That's a really big number to have to deal with if you're going to start doing calculations. And it gets even worse as we go to bigger scales. For instance, to go from the Sun to Alpha Centauri. Alpha Centauri is the next nearest star other than the Sun. And that is about 3.8 times 10 to the 16 meters away. That's actually 10,000 times bigger almost than the distance from the Sun to Pluto. So it's a really big distance. And then to go to other stars in the galaxy that are even farther away, we might be getting tens of thousands times bigger than this. Again, what about if we want to go to another galaxy? Tens of thousands of times bigger than that. The numbers start getting really, really big. And so even kilometers are not really convenient for talking about stuff in space. The numbers are just too big. We need a different set of units of measurement so that we don't have to deal with such big numbers all the time. And then we have to learn how to convert between them. So we define a couple of new units. <clears throat> the first is called the astronomical unit, which really brilliant name. Um, to measure distances in astronomy, we use astronomical units. And the astronomical unit is defined to be the average distance from the sun to the Earth. This is great for distances within the solar system. For instance, Pluto on average is about 40 astronomical units from the sun. 40 is a useful number. So the average distance from the Earth to the sun in American units is about 93 million miles, or let's go metric, 1.5 times 10 to the 11 meters. So this is a pretty big distance, um, but we can get things down to some nice normal numbers. Now, I wrote this in purple, uh, 1 AU equals 1.5 times 10 to the 11 meters. That is not something you need to memorize. When you take a test, I will give you that relationship. All of these sort of conversions between distance units, um, I will always give you those on the test. So don't bother memorizing that. Just know that an astronomical unit is the distance from the Earth to the Sun. And then make sure you know how to use it when we start doing conversions. But as we said, the distance to stars may be tens of thousands of times bigger than that. And OK, tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of astronomical units may be not too bad, but we would like something a little simpler even then. So the other big unit that we talk a lot about in astronomy is light years. And a light year, you've got to remember, is a distance. A light year is the distance that light travels in one year. It's not an amount of time. It sounds like a time because it says year, but it's a distance that light travels in one year. So if we want to figure out what that is, well, go back to physics. You know that the speed of light is 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. We learned that in physics. Um, so this should be very familiar to you. That's another thing I will give you on the test. You may want to program it into your calculator. If you're not sure how to do that, check with me in class. I can help you do that. And if you multiply it out, a year is about 3.15 times 10 to the 7 seconds. You can multiply how many days there are in a year, times the number of hours in a day, times the number of minutes in an hour, number of seconds in a minute, that's what you get. And of course we know first day of physics class, speed equals distance divided by time. So plug in the numbers and you can figure out that the distance that light travels, moving at the speed of light, 
in one year turns out to be 9.5 times 10 to the 15 meters. That is what a light year is. Again, this conversion will be given to you on the test. Now, remember, just keep in mind, light years are units of distance, not time. People misuse that all the time. They say, it took me light years to do my homework last night. They're trying to say it took them a really, really, really long time. Well, that doesn't actually make sense. That's misusing the term. A light year is a distance. So um, when I drove to my friend's house, it seemed like it was light years away. Well, maybe it seemed like it was a really, really, really long distance. That's okay. That's a sort of metaphoric use, and that would be okay. But light years are distances, not times. So I always ask questions about that on the test in the final. Make sure you know that. Light years are distances, not times. Now, this is a good point to review our metric prefixes because we're also going to encounter the metric prefixes. In fact, you can use these on light years. For instance, you could have a mega light year. Um, we'll use mega light years for something at the end of the semester in here. So it's a good idea to just review these. I'm not going to sit here and talk you through them. Uh, what I would suggest you do is you pause the video for a while and just write this down. Um, remember that the symbol for micro, we talked about this in physics, is this Greek letter mu. It's sort of a curvy M or a cross between an M and a U. So go ahead and write these down. This is going to be the end of the lecture, but make sure you get this written down. You're going to need to know these. If you haven't learned your metric prefixes yet, this is the time to learn them. In the next lecture, we'll talk about uh, how we can convert between different units. You know how to do that already, but it will be a useful review. So that's the end of this lecture. Get this written down, and we'll come back in the next part.